On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Opera GX. By this point I'm sure most of you guys have already heard about Opera GX but it's an amazing browser made for gamers with countless integrations that you did not even know you needed until you start using it by yourself. I can definitely vouch for that. Now some of my favorite ones are the social media integrations as I spend a lot of time on Twitter, Twitch and Discord and simply add your favorite social medias to the list on the right hand side of the browser and receive notifications through your browser meanwhile you're doing whatever you want to do and always be up to date with the people you're following. Another integration I absolutely love is the GX player. Now all of you guys are RuneScape players and I'm sure most of you guys listen to a lot of music on your big grinds and this allows you to listen to music through your browser. The one I personally use the most is the YouTube music app and Spotify but you can also access Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal and Soundcloud as well. Now besides integrations, you also have a wider range of customizable freedom with Opera GX. The absolute lifesaver for your eyes is of course the forced dark mode. I honestly can't really ever see myself not using this again after spending the past weeks using it. You can also change the background color and even set own wallpapers for the browser. There's pre-designed wallpapers or you can upload yourself. Personally, I love my Lost Ark barred wallpaper, easy on the eye and beautiful design. Now I'm going to assume that most of the people watching me are actually interested in games, so the GX corner accessed at the top left of the browser is an absolute godsend for people looking for new games to play. A bunch of free games, great deals and information about upcoming games that can be found right here. Every time I check this page, I always end up downloading a free game and trying it out, because why not? It's free. Lastly, Opera GX is now also on mobile, free to download and just as clean to use on your mobile device as on your PC. All in all, this browser has so many features I could not talk about all of them, but there are so many useful ones and the browser in general is just really fun to play around with. So if you want to give it a go yourself, you can start using Opera GX by clicking the link below in my description and download Opera GX completely for free. Thank you so much to Opera GX for sponsoring the video and for supporting the channel, but let's get on with the video. Click the link. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Undrop Rate. In this one we are venturing back to the God Wars dungeon for the second time, first time doing the Samurak God Wars boss Krill Thusaroth. But in this one we are doing General Grador, we're doing Bandos and we're going to be doing 381 kills in hunts for the Bandos boots. I picked the least expensive item because then it has a big chance to be a nice giveaway if I get all the other items except the boots, that is a lot of money. So Bandos boots, 1 in 381 and my collection log looks like this. So actually any of the uniques would cover a slot, which is really nice. I would like to get this log completed sometime in the future, so getting anything would be really nice. Now when it comes to my inventory, I am using this right here. I might change this up, of course, because as I said, I've never actually done this much before. I think I've done five kills this way just to try it out, and that was quite some time ago. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. And I'm using the blowpipe for the minions and some self-healing. The master wand with an Arum's top for a blood barrage to be able to heal off the minions. And I should be able to stay there for a long time. Now the really nice thing about doing bandos is that the kill count to get into the room is a really really simple. You just go all the way north here in the dungeon. I can show on the map right here. And the bandos stronghold is right here on the left side. And you pretty much just use a blowpipe. You tag all the goblins. They have nearly no HP at all. And you can run around this area right here and just do that until you have 40 kill counts. Probably only takes a couple of minutes every time. Alright, so let's do a very quick brief on this. I am a massive noob to doing this. I've never really done this much before. As I said, I think I have overall 6 or 10 kills, maybe at maximum, doing this. So, it is going to be quite a trial and error experience for me. 
but I do have all the tiles marked and all the information I need. And what you essentially want to do is you can see they are numbered. So you start at number one, hit the boss one time, run to number two, hit the boss one time, three, and so on. And then when you actually reach tile number six, which I'm going to get to in just a second here, you actually red click on the cannon base, avoiding Bandos and running through him. You can see right there, I did not take a hit. And then you repeat the cycle all the way until he is dead. If you do actually take damage, he can slap you a massive amount, like 50 damage, and he's going to do that quite a lot. Uh, I mean, if you fail it, you're going to get hit almost every time. He hits zeros very, very rarely on the gear I'm using, so doing this correctly is essential. But here we go. Can I get the last hit in? That should be it. And 1 in 381 chance of actually getting the item. Are we going to get spooned? No, we do not. But anyways, now after I kill the boss, I actually want to barrage the minions and ideally prayer flick them as well, so I get max HP. And then after that, I can finish them off with the blowpipe and then start off the cycle again by standing on the start tile that you can see on the far right now on my screen. Oh my god, I am so dead. There's no way. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was very early, like two kills in or something, I'm already dead. Yeah, this is going to be a learning experience, I got absolutely combo there. Oh my god, how did I get hit that time? I feel like I actually didn't fail there, but I probably did. Of course I did, I mean, I'm just not really experienced with doing this, but uh, as I said, it's going to be quite a learning experience, but I think I'm kind of learning how to do it. Yo! Bandos chest plate? That is why I picked the boots. That is a potential massive giveaway. That is so early. Oh my god, and I got an elite clue scroll in the same drop as well. That has to be so extremely rare. The chest plate is 30 million. I don't remember it being this expensive because. Uh, maybe it's because of the Torva. I guess it is, because you actually needed to make the Torva. Look at that. That is uh, the first item unlocked on the collection log. It's going to be nice to see. Where is it even? General Growler, there it is. 85 kill count overall, so that's like 30 kills in. 29, I think, exactly, or something like that. And the first item has been obtained, but we have not won the challenge just yet. And as per usual, we're doing the Elite Clue Scroll as well that I got on that. And let's see what we're going to get from this one. And we get a Master Clue Scroll. Beautiful. 270k as well. That is not bad value. All of this is, of course, going to the giveaway if I do lose the challenge. But let's also do the Master. Potentially a lot of money here. Let's have a look at the master casket. I think master number 12 is 399k. Man, quite a good value, I think. Pretty good from the Onyx Bolts. Oh, okay. I can't complain. That's actually a bit more rare than a Bandos piece, the Rune Sword. It's like kind of a meme from this boss, I guess. But I can't complain. I've got a Bandos chest plate so far, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, Bandos Hilt, 1 in 508. Man, 16 million, that has gone up in price a lot. I think that's because of Raids 3. Oh my god, I actually got the Bandos Hilt and the BCP in what? Like 60 kills? That is ridiculous. You know, after that clip, I kind of feel like I have to show you guys how extremely lucky I've been in general in God Wars Dungeon on this account. Commander Siliana, everything except the pet in 399 KC with two Armadillo crossbows. Let's go down, General Grador, this is now my log, in 113 kills. We have Kriara, which is just beyond crazy, completed at 338 KC, which actually I completed at I think 170 kills or something like that. And then we have Krill, I have everything except Staff of the Dead and the pet in 156. Yes, I've been lucky at this area. I'm going to be honest, I've died probably like five times since I started this grind and I've done like what, 65 kills? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, it is a hard tactic to learn, but I feel like I'm starting to actually get a hang of it, and it's fine every time I die, I get supply drops and I can stay here longer, and then die and get another supply drop, so it's all good. Oh, very nice. A second Elite Clue Scroll. They're actually pretty rare, one in 250, so getting two of them pretty early is very lucky, actually. One in five chance to get a master right here. Let's see what we get from the elite clue scroll. And we do get a master. Very nice. So let's try and do that as well. I believe this is the first master clue scroll I have not been able to complete in the series so far. I am not getting like six herb blow levels, unfortunately. 
I would like to give you guys a bit of an update on how it's actually going. That is kill number 129 and actually the last time I died was kill number 65 I think. So we have done 3 full trips now and I have not died on any of them. So it's safe to say I got this down now, should be fine. I'm probably going to die once or twice, maybe even more than that in the remaining like 200 plus kills. But at least I am starting to learn how it's supposed to be done, and unless I go really slow on the brain, I should be fine. I do want to direct your attention to my kill count, 128, and every single kill is like 4, because you kill Bandos of course, and then all the 3 minions. Sometimes I do not actually kill the mage minion, so it only counts as 3, but this means I've done around 30 kills in one single trip. That is really good for me. I know with the, like max everything you can do like 50 kills, but yeah, 30 for my experience and my gear is pretty good. Oh my god, another collection of item, Bandos Tassets, 22.6 million. Am I actually going to get like all the uniques? If I actually get the Bandos boots now, I've completed the log, which is just, I mean, except the pet, but that is nuts. Look at that. That's so much money. Oh my god, this is so nice. You have got to be kidding me. 248 kill counts on Rune Light Tracker. And we do win the challenge. Bandos boots. And as I said, we completed the log except for the pet. Wow, in 305 overall kill count for the entire account. I have every single unique that I would need. If I was an Iron Man, I would have every single item you could want from this boss. That is ridiculous. Just have a look at this, imagine me being an Iron Man at this point, I would be looking like an absolute full Bandos Chad with a BGS as well, and the Bandos Hilt is worth a lot of money right now, I think I mentioned it earlier, it's probably because of raids 3, it used to be like 10 million, something like that, so it's nice to make even more money, but again, we have to take a look at the collection log for all God Wars bosses, I think for the boss section of the collection log, the God Wars is probably one of the hardest things to complete, and it's of course mostly because of the pets, but having everything completed in Siliana except the pet, General Grador now, everything except the pet, and then of course on Kriar I have everything, and on Krill I have everything except the Steam Battle Staff, or no, that's Staff of the Dead actually, and Pet Krill. If I would get the pets, I would be able to complete the entire God Wars collection log, which would be uh, pretty nuts. I sold everything that I got from that, and my current cash stack is now 126 million GP. And if I actually put everything into my bank, I thought I might just give a quick, like, bank update to what my value is. 901 million. And I think I started this series around, like, 550, maybe 600 million. So we have made a lot of money in this series, which is very nice to see. We are inching in on that 1 billion worth bank. But that is the end of this video, I hope you all enjoyed, and again, thank you so much to Opera GX for sponsoring the video. If you want to support this channel for free, you can try to download it through the link in the description and the pinned comments. It is a really good program, so I think you will enjoy using it. And overall, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to be updated on the future uploads of this series. And until next time, guys, take care.